driving, we pride ourselves on reviewing it all. From Civics to Classics to Supercars, our reviews provide invaluable consumer insight for drivers across Canada. I've personally been working my way up, and having recently come off the Ferrari factory test track at Furano, I think I'm finally ready for something big. Today at Canada's Wonderland, we're driving Jokey's Jalopies. in Ontario, Jokey's Jalopies is Canada's Wonderland's classic antique car ride. Taking the form of the classic Ford Model T, the Jalopies here were built by a now defunct company known as Bradley & K. Still running after 41 years, the cars have had an impressive lifespan. Now, I joke about the Ferraris and all that, but let me be clear, Jokey's Jalopies are serious business. These are the cars on which I learned to drive as a young one. Cruising around with my impressively patient parents, I would ride Jokey's over and over and over again. It was fabulous. Where else, as a kid that age, would you get to drive a car? Not to mention such a classic, iconic looking vehicle. You get a steering wheel, you get a floor where you can imagine pedals, and you get a very scenic park ride through this little wood. Overhead, marshmallowy helicopters cruise about. Over there, we have old trains that say LGB, just like the ones I had as a kid. This really is a wonderful place to be. Now I must acknowledge that Jokies do have some limitations as cars. The Jokies Jalopies are a very interesting sort of vehicle and with a very unconventional powertrain. These cars are electro-hydraulic. Under the hood, a one and a half horsepower electric motor powers a small hydraulic pump. Enthusiasts will be pleased to know that this powers the rear wheels only. Of course, we're not going quite fast enough to break those rears loose, but we do have some vehicle dynamics and safety systems to be aware of. By using the hydraulic setup, the Jokies are able to ease to a gentler stop when you return to the station. And as you're probably picking up over audio, it also produces this very distinct engine note. The soothing hum of the jalopy is a little overpowering, particularly under this resonant fiberglass roof. But you get a smooth, consistent sound. To be sure, the ride is a little bit choppy. The jalopies don't actually have a suspension system, but really just the one and a half or so inches of Michelin tire sidewall at each corner. Of course, with that stiffness comes an impressive steering response. As I carve my way around this track, the jalopy is razor sharp. Really, it handles like it's on rails. I steer this wheel and I follow the exact path that I can see other jalopy drivers have followed. It's just so precise. BMW would do well to learn from this vehicle. Now, some of our more persnickety commenters will probably try to call out that you're not steering that, it's just following that guide bar. I beg to differ, but it is worth noting that just for safety's sake, should my steering fall short, there is a central rail system riding down the line here. In between that, we see a central bus bar along which a power trolley rides. We have 120 volts, or basically wall outlet power, running to about 15 amps per car. Maximum speed of the Jokey's Jalopies is rated at 7.6 kilometers an hour, though I don't know that it necessarily runs all the way there all the time. Still, as with any performance vehicle, it's nice to know that you've got the option. Architecturally, the old B&K Ford here runs on a steel frame with fiberglass bodywork. Like the rest of the rides here, this has been maintained over the years by Wonderland's Fiberglass Shop, a dedicated team that just works on the cosmetics of all of these rides. Of course, each car has weathered those 40 years a little bit differently. Not only is that a long time, but despite its relatively sedate ride experience, Jokies takes a fair bit of traffic. According to Wonderland stats, pre-pandemic traffic ran about 275 to 300,000 riders per year. For all that I like to pretend that I've got a pretty exclusive drive here, this is one that many have shared. Now what of the passenger experience itself? Well, 
The jalopy is, as I said, a bit of a stiff ride. Likewise, these fiberglass benches are not exactly the most yielding beneath my derriere. So, strap in, lean back, it will even drive autonomously. Despite being 40 years old, this almost seems a vehicle of the future. And to be sure, Wonderland does plan on a good lengthy future for these cars. Not only are they straightforward to maintain, but as much as parents may groan, this is an iconic ride for many. For me, I was back at Wonderland for the first time in a decade the other week, and Jokey's Jalopies was the number one ride on my wish list while I was here. Now, I do love driving slightly unconventional, impractical old garbage, but to be honest, I don't know that this does fit my garbage criteria. It's actually pretty good. That said, practicality leaves something to be desired. Apart from what you can fit beside you, there's no cargo space here in the jalopy. And you don't really have much in the way of weather protection either. If you get anything more than a gentle breeze, that rain is going to soak you. Still, I'm glad the jalopies are here, and I'm glad that I get to drive them. And I will have stern words for anyone else who tries to tell me that I'm not driving. For Driving.ca, I'm Al Older. For more important vehicle news and reviews, be sure to follow us online on Driving.ca, and check out our socials on Instagram and Twitter. Now don't mind me, but I've got some more jalopping to do. 